people probably wonder how it is that you can get caught in a cult anyways. And part of the reason why people do is because of the strong social control that they are able to maintain on their members. And that's something that just kind of happens without you even really realizing what is even happening. It's sort of like a boa constrictor that just kind of gets a hold of you without you really noticing what's happening in the moment. The cult that I was in, uh, Kai Alpha, they had the appearance of being very upfront, very open, and not at all being controlling. Um, that is until that you actually get further into the organization, you get more and more involved. They said that they were, you know, a campus ministry, and they just were all about Jesus, and they just wanted to be your friend. But the the more you spent time with them, the more and more they demanded of you. So that started out as being, they just wanted you to read your Bible a little bit more. Then it was, okay, well, now you need to come to a small group with us. And then it was, okay, well, now you need to also attend a one-on-one -on -one with a small group leader every week. And then it was, well, now you got to come to these big group meetings. And then it was also, okay, now you have to attend a weekly church service. And all of this was so that they could groom you to also become a small group leader. Because the first and foremost thing that they sought after was growth for the organization. And so being a leader carried with it the highest form of social control. And they controlled a whole lot of stuff. For example, they controlled who we could date. It was a hard no on anybody that was a non-Christian. And even for the Christians that we could date, they heavily interfered with our uh, relationships. We also had heavy restrictions on the entertainment that we could watch. Anything that had witchcraft, blood, gore, nudity, language couldn't watch. Uh, there was also a lot of weird extra biblical stuff that they were heavily against. So church hopping, that essentially means that if we had or attended more than one church uh, within like a set period of time, that was grounds for removal. If we drank any alcohol at all in any capacity, even if we weren't getting drunk, that was grounds for removal. If we sped or went over the speed limit, that was grounds for removal. Like breaking the law in any capacity was considered uh, to be grounds for removal. So like the, the level of restriction and the level of social control, if they wanted to find an issue with you, they could at any moment, at any time. And this was how they were able to crack the whip and keep you under their thumb at all times. But the highest form of social control within the group was this thing called a care front. It was essentially the same thing as a confrontation, but they just dressed it up with the name Carefront to sound uh, softer and fuzzier. But what they would do is if they saw you do anything that they saw as undesirable or sinful, uh, they would come to you in a one-on-one -on -one setting and they would try to convince you to stop or try to convince you that you were wrong. And if you didn't, then they would escalate. And this escalation process would slowly uh, continue until eventually it became a public shaming event where they brought you out in front of the entire group. And eventually they gave you the ultimatum, either you stop or they essentially kick you out. There was one incident where uh, one semester we had spoken a little bit too much to one of the other campus ministries. We were becoming too buddy-buddy with one of them. And we were told that we were in violation of our covenant. And so we were told that we had to either stop talking with them or stop hanging out with them as much. Or else we were um, going to be literally kicked out of the organization. And so with this, this is an example of how we were literally isolated from making and forming friendships and connections uh, with people outside of the organization and forced to stay within ours. And so this is another example of how it was very cult-like. And all of this combined, before you know it, um, you essentially don't have any outside contact. You essentially have been cut off from your family and you're spending all of your time, all of your energy just invested in this group. And yeah, uh, that process takes a little more than a year to get fully invested. And by that point, you, you begin to realize like even if you want to leave, um, you, you can't like, that's just too much investment and not just that, like just, it's not just social investment, but it's spiritual investment. It's like, if you leave, you feel like your soul is in danger. And so, uh, yeah, that's just kind of how you can, one way that, uh, you can get kind of like sucked into a cult, even if you don't think that you are, uh, susceptible to like a cult like mentality. Yeah, really curious to hear what anybody has to say about this. If you have any opinions or similar experiences, just share below. Thank you.